Hello there, Mark Cunningham here. And in this video, we're going to learn how you can create regular time and expenses invoices for your projects in Xero. This video is part of a full series on Xero projects. So if you want to learn more, check out the link to the playlist in the description below. Okay, so let's jump into Xero now and see how it's done. So we'll use this right agency project here. And you can see in this project, we've got some hours that we've done. And we've also got a couple of expenses that we can invoice for as well. If you come over to the time tab, you can see that the time is spread out over two weeks there, and it's actually divided it up into those weeks. And the reason for that is that if you're going to send regular invoices to your client for a time and expenses project, you'll probably do it weekly or fortnightly or monthly, for example. So zero just divides it up into weeks here for you. So what we would do for this project is we would highly likely send them an invoice each week. So we can send them a time and expenses invoice for all the time that we racked up in that week, the 8th to the 14th of Feb. And the way we would do that is we would go into invoice and task and expenses. And then up the top here, we would choose that week. So it's not actually there as an option. So we need to go into choose range and it was the 8th to the 14th. Okay, so now we've just got the hours in there from the 8th to the 14th. And then next time we'll invoice them for the next week. So let's also include the balloons in there. We won't include the handover meeting because that will come um, at the end of the project. And we'll just display our time as tasks, that's fine. And we'll click on save and open. Okay, so now we've got an invoice, we can put a due date on it. And then we just need to go through and put our general ledger codes in for each of these lines, like that. Okay, so now we've got each of those time entries um, split out, or we've got them split out into their various tasks at least, and we've got the balloons there. So our invoice is ready to go, we'll just click on approve. Okay, we'll go back to the project. Okay, so what we've got now is we've got 3,495 has been invoiced. And you can see down here in expenses, it's actually put the invoice number there for that one because that's the invoice it's included in. And if we come back over to our time entries, we can see it's got the invoice number down here as well. So what we would do next, or what we would do a week later, is we would send them another invoice for this week so let's do that. And we'll just choose that particular week, even though that will come up the same. And again, we'll just say that we're not actually finished the project yet. So we'll take that handover meeting out. So now we've just got an invoice for those hours that we've done in that week. Okay, so we'll just put a due date on it. And our sales code in there and click approve. And we'll go back to our project. Okay, so now what we've got, if we go to invoices, is we've got those two invoices there. And if we go to time, you can see that we've now invoiced for all the time. So what would happen next is if we had more time to put on the project, we would work on it and it would probably be in the next week. And then we would end up doing an invoice for the rest of that time. And we would also include the handover meeting in that invoice. So that's how you can do regular task and expenses invoice for a project where you're not billing them um, in bulk at the end, for example, if you want to um, have payments as you go along for the actual work that you do and the actual expenses that you incur.